Okay, just having a little trouble with my uh, mic. Got it up and going. This is my Mugen here. Uh, the name is under construction. I still haven't really decided exactly what I want to call it, but um, it's going to have a crazy anime roster. I always do update videos, try to showcase more concurrent activity that I've been undergoing for this project. Um, I said I would, you know, buckle down. I got a little bit of downtime from work. I'm going to utilize that said time to basically focus on the characters that I think are important at the moment. Oh, oh Afro. This looks so cool. It looks so good, dude. Okay. Uh, wait, let's back out here. I think it's easier to go to practice. Okay. Okay. I always pick these two. Wow. All of its 4K splendor. It's pretty revolutionary, man. I know a lot of people are gonna hate, try to downplay me, say I'm arrogant, not like to hear me talk. Cool, get off my channel for a starter if you have that problem. But um for the rest of you, um there's there's a lot of things I think 2D fighters have like missed out over the years that um, nobody has attempted to implement. For instance, uh I think head tracking is very important. This is it. You notice this intro is very very complex. It's not just a simple walk into the screen and speak to the opponent. I um I think people should put more Well I can't say that now because 2D fighters are pretty much over. Everything's converted to 3D modeling that mimics 2D sprites. But um for me personally I always wanted to see head tracking. If you I think a good example is probably Cloud. Look closely at Cloud at his head. See how his head follows the opponent? Pretty simple to program into the uh, the game. I don't understand why no one utilized this coding. And another thing is, uh, of course, the asymmetrical aspect, very important. But um, I'm gonna try not to harm. I'm gonna try to focus on what I made this video for. Basically, to showcase my guts' is sword attacks. I finally completed all of his sword attacks. He has two horizontal slices. As you can see, the blood goes in different directions. He also has low horizontal strikes, or vertical if you wish. Um, speaking of vertical, he also has an, uh, what I call an uppy. It's basically his launcher. You notice the, the fall speed of the characters too for the launcher. They go up slow, and they come down fast. I love that. Let you uh, really feel like you're helpless when you get hit with a launcher. Oh yeah, and of course his air attack. Which is just a simple downward stab. It's um pretty iconic to me. I see Guts do this a lot in animes and in the manga. So um, I figured why not just program it into the character. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about the next sword attack. <laughs> I love his move, man. Oh yeah, he comes in two different stances. Um, all of everyone in my roster has this, besides being a 100% asymmetrical. But um, they have what I call the calm stance, which is basically the stance they're in when they're just walking around. And they have what I call a combat stance, which is basically what they look like when they're you know ready to fight. I don't know why games don't integrate this either. It blows my mind. Um, another thing I always wanted to see in a 2D fighter, of course, is a Z-axis. The ability to move up and down on the, on the plane. It just adds another dimension to the 2D game and it makes it, to me, it makes it a lot more complex, a lot more fun, and it makes more for you to think about when you're doing your attacks or setting up your, um, your opponent. Of course, my characters can still crouch, even though they move on a Z-axis at will, they can still crouch and uh, jump pretty simple it's uh it's still up and down and um yeah that's all i wanted to showcase in this video that my guts has a new jumping fierce attack which is it's brutal that's it bye